Hey everybody, Norman, Norm's Rare Guitars. I've got Nick over here and I've got Joel. And um, just wanted to talk to you guys today about neck sets. Um, a lot of old Martin guitars over the years, the necks actually sink into the body and eventually what you end up with is no saddle and the strings, the string height is high and there's no room to lower the action. And Joel has become an expert luthier and has done terrific on these neck sets. And what we do is we heat the neck right over here with, um, and we loosen the neck with the glue from heat. And then what we do is we reposition the neck and we shim it and we get it in the proper angle so that we can put a nice high saddle over here. And what that does is when there's a break and the strings come over the saddle and there's height coming over it, it really increases the volume of the guitar, makes it sound and play great. So you got a lovely clear tone. And so um, what we're doing is we want to have the string height low but even room to lower it more. And when you get to the optimum height, it sounds and plays its best. And Joel, why don't you just tell us what you do, how you, uh, how you do that exactly. Well, um, you have to take the neck off of the guitar and you have to, uh, it's basically cut it in that back. It involves yeah. going, going in through the fretboard, right? And you have to loosen the, yeah, the joint. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit more than that. You yeah. Know? But um, you know, that's why I do what I do. And, <laughs> and right. I'm not gonna tell you the whole way I do it or else you're gonna do it. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's his secret, but he does a really good job, and it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, we've had a number of Martins that have come in, and the action is a little bit high, and there's no room to lower it, and this is a way to really make the guitars play at their optimum, and that's what we want. Yeah. Just on a side note, he actually did the next set on my 54 0018, and it was beautiful. And we took pictures all the way through, so maybe we could, could put that on the. Yeah. You and know, put just, some pictures up there to show you what he goes through, because it's just, quite a process. Yeah. yeah. And then a couple other things, like this is a single 018, but you see, we want to have some height here. And there's a nice break, the strings break over the top of this, and so we can get nice, good low action and yeah. even room to lower it. This, this one's is got a less 41 D18. But, it, but it's got a. Uh, the, the neck angle is fantastic. That really kicks out some volume. So it makes all the difference in the world, and uh, you know, we try to do this to make sure that our guitars are playing at their optimal because we get a lot of big groups and professional players, and the guitars have to play easy up and down the neck and also have to sound as good as they can sound. So it's it, really nice to play. What we have to do is, I don't usually like to do this too much with Joel because I don't want it to go to his head, but we've got to compliment him. He's really been doing very well on these neck sets. And uh, if you have a Martin guitar and it's not playing to your liking, it could very well involve an neck set. So um, it, it makes all the difference in the world. So we like to just address these things from time to time. Norm's Rare Guitars. Please keep watching our videos.